The conversation on reforming the education sector has become more pertinent as Nigeria has recently become the country with the largest number of out-of-school children in the world. A non-profit organization, Education Reform and Innovation Team, ERIT, is offering to partner with the Lagos State Government to help improve our education sector. Education in Nigeria is in a state of crisis, and so ERIT is determined to make a dent in the problem and in the crisis. But we cannot continue to fold our hands while our colleges of education turn out our big teachers and then pray for miracles that they will be able to educate our best and brightest to become future leaders. How can they give what they don't have? Our colleges must produce qualified and competent teachers and instructors. Our education was designed for the industrial mass production 19th century. If not, how can you explain a curriculum that still has a typewriter and teaches shorthand when students in primary schools in the US are building drones and robots? Government needs to always engage private sector. We need to be a community of conversant people. The Lagos State Commissioner of Education, Mrs. Folasha de Adefisayo, who was present at the event, raised some issues children face, which in turn affect their performance in schools. The need to improve school governance and administration was reiterated. The social dimension is critical. They are very poor children from very poor homes. Most of them are working children, let's face it. That's why they will get to school late, because they're going to wake up in the morning to cook, to clean, take Madame's children to the private school before walking down to the public school. We must leverage technology and we must improve school governance and administration. Let me tell you, nothing will work if we do not improve the quality of the civil service. With all due respect, I've said I've met some very clever people, but I've also met too many people who are hidebound and have taken a position and they're not going to move from that position. So again, we have to do a lot of... Um, uh, what do you call it? Capacity building, changing attitudes, changing mindsets, which is never easy. Dio Israel, suburb board member, mentioned the board's plan to renovate the education sector. In partnership with uh, LEN, which is the Special Arts Foundation, um, suburb has been doing a lot in nominating a very good, bright, indigent, poor background student from across Lagos State, nominating them to for scholarship and they're going to private, private secondary schools, Day Waterman College and the likes and all of that. Of course, there are challenges in terms of um, maximizing the numbers, which I'm happy that the Honorable Commissioner and Subeb is working together to introduce uh, a new program in Co-Excel, which I'm sure the Commissioner will look to when she takes the stage, which will revitalize and introduce technology into our classroom. What we, what we believe that that will help us to do is to also deal with issues of literacy and numeracy. Beneficiaries from Slum to School Africa also shared their experience, urging the government to help children from the slum in order to save them from early pregnancy, child labor, and other abuses. Many of my young colleagues that are outside pregnant from 13 to 15, 14 in my communities just because of what they think if they go back to school, the school will not accept them. And the authorities, the school authorities are not even ready to accept them back to school. So they think if they are pregnant, that's the end of life for them. As the education sector in Nigeria is at the verge of collapse, there is a growing evidence that private participation can help improve its effectiveness. Messi Emmanuel for Plus TV Africa.